All right, good day. Uh, just a little update of my uh, on my uh, ZVS um, little, uh, let's say, inverter from 12 to 120 volts. Uh, I add two extra capacitor here uh, to actually create it a more uh, sine wave looking output. And this is actually the sine, sine, sine wave right now. It has no load and my oscilloscope is set on 50 volt per division and we're having uh, three division on each side so it's 150 volt p uh 300 volt peaks to peak which is quite nice it's actually close to the normal uh, output but the frequency is uh, quite high and of course it's not a very perfect sine wave but it's close enough and also it's stab it uh, actually stabilized the um, amp draw right now I'm running on 10 volts and 120 milliamp on standby and you might say uh, some might actually say uh, it's made it not it's not the right reading uh, your multimeter only reads average uh, yes, it is. This multimeter can also go up to 5 megahertz in range. And I hooked up my scope uh, in between the, um, the actual uh, multimeter to see if there were any big, big chance, uh, change. And it's actually, uh, m let's say maybe it's probably on 150 milliamps. Are we going to really bother about losing or adding... 30 milliamps no not really and also as you might see right now I have a big knee on there uh, I was playing around and I can actually light up this 20 watt neon bulb the only thing I need to do is short circuit uh, two pin which actually will here we go it's uh, I'm shorting the uh, heating 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 element so it actually it start up and I'm actually at full brightness of this neon <clears throat> and this is the actual waveform now as you can see it's only small peaks and there's a reason for that I add a little capacitor ear here uh, in series with the neon to actually limit the output because with no capacitor here, this neon gets overdriving with about a hundred and something watt of power. And uh, there's a little inductor right under there. He, it does not really like it. Uh, I should have taken more care of choosing some parts when I made this. But uh, it works for low, for low load. And right now, I'm at almost two amps roughly at uh, nine volts here so it's it's not too bad it's about 20 watts which is actually the current rating of the neon itself uh, so no it's quite good and the heatsink here is barely warm yeah, I could probably let it run all night and it would still be it's 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 warm but I'm not gonna burn my finger here and nothing else everything runs smooth so just thought I might share this it's actually quite nice I probably will use this to light my little bench area here all right thanks for watching